Welcome to the Office of Academic Technology Blackboard video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to insert a hyperlink into a blog post, and we'll also show you how to upload and attach a file within a blog post. So let's do it right now. Within the blog tool in Blackboard, we'll show you how to do it by editing. You can create a new entry if you want to, but in this context for this demonstration, we'll just edit an existing blog post. So we'll click Edit. And now we're kind of into the edit mode where we'll have our Microsoft Word uh, formatting toolbars here and words that we can kind of add and type in, change an existing blog entry. So if we want to make a hyperlink, that is a link to an external website or even a link to another blog post, we have to select words to make into hyperlinks. So I'm going to highlight this word bold, and then I'm going to go up to this link right here, which is the insert link button. I'm going to click that and a uh, dialog box is going to show up. It's going to give me an option to insert the link to an existing entry or to an external website. You can choose. I'm going to choose an external website and then I'm going to type in google.com just as a, as a demonstration and I'm going to click insert. Now watch what happens over here when I click the insert button. All of a sudden, my word changed to a link, and that's how it'll be in your blog post. And so when I click that link, it'll take me to Google's website. So that's how you create a hyperlink within a blog post. Now, how do you upload and attach a file? Well, you can do that easily as well. I'm just going to tab down to a new line, and then I'm going to go up and select the Upload File button. Again, that's going to pop up a dialog box right here, and uh, it's going to ask me what file do I want to upload? What do I want to attach to this blog post? So I'll click Browse, and this will open up um, a dialog box that I can select. I'm going to choose this Word document, and then I'm going to click the Upload button. Now it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to insert this or do you want to cancel? I'm going to confirm that and say yes, insert. And then watch what happens over here when I click the insert button. It will automatically upload the file by its file name and create a link. So now in order to make sure that this is all saved for the blog post so other people can read it, I'm going to go over here and click the save button. And now my blog post has been saved with an attached Word document and an external link all within my blog post. And that's how you insert a hyperlink and how you attach files within a blog post within Blackboard. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact the Office of Academic Technology. We're at www.arbor.edu forward slash oat.